Hey, what's up? I'm Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and today Cinema 40 just announced Cinema 40 2025. And so I just want to go quickly over what's new and what you should pay attention to. Definitely check out the full video for all the details. There's a link for that below. But to me, the biggest headline is that now C40 and Redshift are included together. So basically, all new Cinema 40 subscriptions, subscribers, <laughs> subscriptions now include Redshift GPU, not just CPU, but also GPU. So the big bad, if you've been on the fence about wanting to pull the trigger on Redshift and you weren't sure if you wanted to or not, you don't have to anymore, you have it. So if you're new to Redshift, I highly recommend my course, the Mind and Motion Workshop, which goes in depth into basically every part of Redshift uh, and C4D together. And it's all the new UI and all the new Redshift 3.5 and up with all the Redshift standard materials, all that stuff. So definitely check that out. You can get it through the entire bundle or you can break it apart and just do like the intro or materials or lighting, whatever you want to do. So definitely check that out at DerekKirk.net. I want to make sure I plug that in there because it really is the most up-to-date and the biggest course that is available out there on Redshift. There's over 100 plus videos, 70 project files you'll get access to. So you'll get a bunch of materials, all this stuff. Anyway, check it out for sure. All right, so what else is new in c 4 besides that? Uh, basically, some new particle flow things. You can now make particles follow splines. Um, the Unreal Engine Direct Live Link is now supposed to be a little bit better. I haven't played around with it too much. I want to, um, besides a few more things for particles to uh, follow splines and things like that, we now have a um, little bit better VDBs. We've got small scale and big scale VDBs apparently, so it should be a little better to get a lot more detail out of your VDBs and pyro simulations. They've added a bunch of pyro assets to the um, Maxon asset browser, but I'm not sure yet what's behind the Maxon one paywall and what's behind just regular old C4D subscription, but there should be some more stuff there. Always check it out because there are a lot of cool scenes in there to begin with, uh, which is really cool, as well as textures and materials and things like that. Uh, besides that, the big update is the fact that now the color space is a lot more easier if you work with a different bunch of different color spaces amongst a team or a bunch of different artists, you now have the ability to Import and export with tags to say what color space it is. Things should automatically choose the right color space now when you save it and set it and all this stuff. So definitely check that out. If you um, struggle with a lot of color management stuff, definitely check that out. Uh, besides that, there wasn't anything mind-blowing to me. Uh, you can use field drivers now. So basically, you can control your fields uh, easier with different drivers and things like that. So it should add some uh, kind of procedural animation. It's okay. She says she's not excited about that. Um, <laughs> I'm watching the baby. I know. Uh, but basically, that's pretty much it. Um, big news of oh, ZBrush is coming to iPad. If you have an iPad and use ZBrush, that's pretty awesome because the iPad pencil is pretty great. Um, you okay? You're not okay. You want me to be done? I mean, that's pretty much it. Nothing really blew my mind besides the fact that everybody gets redshift so be sure to check out my content and stuff on that if you're new and um update maxon for sure i mean let's have a bunch of plugins because they're probably gonna break so there's nothing that i think you need to jump to it right now uh, and you can't wait but um it's pretty cool stuff if you want to play around with it all right thanks for watching and see you next time